there is nothing wrong with businesses expanding and becoming, you know, top of the line equipment, beautiful surroundings. It's great. I'm sure it's an, it's an amazing feeling. They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a lot of times in this day and age, million dollars to do something like that. But when you're more concerned about how many sales you can make instead of gaining a customer and keeping a customer, well, well you're not going to get a huge return on your investment, right? This is a deal. I'm going to tell you the story really quick. And I'm, I'm sure many of you will agree with me, feel the same way. You, you are allowed to be a consumer, especially when you are paying someone for a service, and you're not cheap, and you're easygoing, and that's what happened here. A little over a year ago, I was delivering for Uber Eats, and I walked into this place. They ordered Uber Eats a lot. I was like, wow, this place is really nice, a town away. Wow, they, they seem like to have a lot of skilled people here. And now my money situation is changing, and I do a lot of things for myself. I stretch my dollar. Like, I'll color my own hair, but I'll spend good money on a great haircut now because it does matter, and it makes your life a lot easier. So I went in there one day. I made an appointment. I went in. They introduced me to this wonderful woman. I really like her does a great job. She got me away from the two inch layers. Now they're four to five inches. When it gets longer, it grows in nice, really nice. So last time she was very busy and she was really pushing it to get me out. Now, like she was rushing. She wasn't like pushing me out the door, but very robotic. And it was uh, probably the fifth time I saw her in a year. I was, when you go through a transformation, transformation with your hair and you grow it out. You got to go a lot in the beginning to get reshapes. And I said, let me give it one more try. They expanded. And I, I did give it one more try. When they expanded down the road, it's a beautiful place, top of the line. I, I pay $65 for a wash, cut, and blow. I'm 45 minutes. I'm an easy go customer. Um, I give a $12 tip. I'm like, great, thank you. She's really skilled. It's right in the middle for me. It's not so low, but it's not a $200 service. That, that's out of my reach. And I'm really happy I found this place. So now I called up today. And last time, she, um, I, I showed her a picture on my LinkedIn profile, and I enlarged it, and I said, I love my hair like that. That's... After a year of reshaping it, letting it grow out, the layers are longer, said, I love it. Like this, I love it. She was like, just listen to me. And I, I didn't want to upset someone cutting my hair, so I let her cut it. And I, I do like how it grows in longer. People complimented me on it, but my hair's flying all over the place. I just, it's just too much for me. I really like it like this. And it'll grow in an inch or two. I call up today. Um, I'm the kind of, I'm the kind of customer, is Stephanie available this week? What does she have open? I take the empty slot. That's how easy I am. I can be that way. And I've been that way. The last time I went, I was like that. And she was really busy. She had no openings. I'm like, oh, okay. What about next week? She said, the woman says she has Tuesday available. And then she mumbles something. She goes, would you like to make an appointment? I said, I didn't understand what you said. She was like, well, Stephanie could take you, um, but someone will blow out your hair. I'm only 45 minute customer and I'm really easy. You have to understand, I, I want to run out of the door. I, that's why I like to spur the moment make hair appointments. This is not a doctor's appointment. This is a hair appointment. I shouldn't have to book it three, four, five weeks ahead of time. That's just me, and I'm allowed to feel that way. I'm a paying consumer. So I sat, I, I just sat here on the phone. I went, well, so she can't just do the wash, cut, and blow. She, I said, this is what I said. She's, she's so busy now that she needs an assistant, right? I said, that's great. I think that's good. 
she was like, yes, yeah, someone has to blow out your hair. I said, well, I'm going to call back then. She didn't even have any openings for next week. So, and then the woman just got like flustered. She's like, okay, bye, and hung up. And I didn't dig that because I've been a customer and I'm, I'm easy going. I'm 45 minutes. People in the hair business would appreciate a 45 minute customer. I know they get a percentage of the service fee, which is $65. I give a $12 tip and I'm in and out and I'm not overly picky or anything like that. I go, blow it out the way you want to blow it out. I'm very saddened about that because last time I didn't feel the vibe. I know they were in a new place, but they were so hungry about the sales and they were losing out on the customer service. You know, I was looking at other things to do in the future because now I can afford it. So I say to myself, let me go down the street, a little mom and papa shop. I walked in there a while ago, the landlord redid the building and it stood out. I never knew they were there. They've been there for over 30 years. So I walk in today and I figured if they told me to come back, I, I will come back today. It's a Tuesday. What are the odds of not having an opening? And she was like, oh, can you wait 10 minutes? Be my pleasure. She did a great job. I told her exactly what I wanted. She listened to me. Kept the layers long here. I said, can you make it a little shorter? Because then when it grows in, I could wait 10 to 12 weeks to do my hair. Amazing customer service. She gained a, she gained a customer, a future customer. I'm so happy. I gave them a try. I never knew they were in that corner. I'm like, the landlord really made you stand out. She goes, since they redid the building, updated the strip mall, and the new sign, we've been getting a lot of business. So... And to top it off, it was 40 bucks, wash, cut, blow. It was the best blowout I ever had. And I gave it 10 bucks, and she was like, thank you. Like, she couldn't believe that I gave her $10. You have a great skill. You're very good at what you do. You gained a customer. Can you write your name on a card, please? Thank you. And she didn't even offer that. And I'm like, you know, I get it. You're a little comfortable, mom and papa shop. I get it. This video is getting long. But do you agree? If you're going to get that grand and big, well, you got to keep the customer service end alive. Because I was really disappointed today, the way the woman hung up on the phone, the way she put me on hold, <clears throat> they got back on the phone. That means she spoke with the woman. It's Stephanie, her name is. It doesn't matter. She, you know, I'm not using the name of the place. And she was going to squeeze me in. But then that means I have to give more of a tip to someone else now you're talking, it's going to be over 80 bucks. You're not even giving me what I want. You actually said, just listen to me. Well, the woman did exactly. She followed her guide. I told her how this woman, I told her the whole story. She was like, I'm really sorry to hear that. She didn't bad mouth anyone. She goes, I'll follow the, the lead, the guide of the hair. I said, can you cut it a little shorter? It'll grow in nice. It'll get long and I could wait 10 to 12 weeks. She understood me. She was great. I was so happy. I think her name was Sammy or Sally. I had to write it down on the card. Amazing um, skill and amazing customer service. Thanks for listening. I'm sure a lot of you will agree. I'll see you around, folks. Remember, you are a paying consumer, and you deserve to be treated the way you should be treated, especially if you're spending money and you're not being cheap, and you're not complaining. Okay, but I'm complaining now. <laughs> Take care, folks. Bye.